Men who have watched their wives slash partners give birth, what was that like? My wife was in labor for about 35 hours. When we got to the point where she was ready to push, my son's heart rate started to plummet. We went from a single midwife in the hospital room with us, encouraging and owning the whole process, to a team of doctors, about 10 people, who came to help within two minutes. They performed an episiotomy and had to pull my kid out with forceps and the vacuum. My wife lost about 1.5 liters of blood, and I remember sitting there watching all of this and thinking they would both die and my whole world was crushing around me. She looked like a ghost and he looked like a bloody, bleeding little alien when he came out. They rushed him to the NICU and gave him oxygen. My son is now almost three years old, my wife made a full recovery, and they are both the best people I know. It can be a traumatic experience for everyone involved, but fuck me if I don't look back on it and remember what a warrior she was and what a fighter he is. My wife is pregnant right now and this made me tear up, I can't even imagine losing them like that. The loneliest and most helpless feeling in the world. She had to undergo an emergency C-section and went under shortly after they started. Head doctor made the call to not let me in the room, so I was stuck watching through a small window. Little man came out purple and not breathing and my wife was limp. For about five minutes nobody came out to speak to me and I was quite certain both of them were dead. Then I heard him scream and cry and one of the nurses rushed him over to my wife and held him against her cheek. Shortly after that the nurse handed him to me and said that both my wife and him were perfectly healthy. To say it was the largest range of emotions my mind and body had ever experienced is an understatement. We felt like we were prepared for anything during labor but the emergency C-section really threw us off. Happened so fast. Luckily everything worked out, but it was pretty scary for a while there. Wife had an unplanned C-section just this past December, after 24 hours of active labor, she wouldn't progress further than an 8. So we were both scared and exhausted. I sat right next to her head behind the curtain. The anesthetist must have seen the absolute shock on my face because he walked me through everything that was happening and assured me it was going well the entire time. Wife was nauseous as hell the entire time from the anesthesia. Her vitals were insane, heart rate in the 190s. She lost 1.2 liters of blood they estimate. When they finally opened her up, our son wasn't even in the birth canal. He was also purple, it absolutely terrified me. Took a few seconds for him to cry felt like an eternity. 45 minutes later we were in the recovery room in awe of this beautiful boy. Getting there was absolute hell. Hospital staff were amazing. Uncontrollable variables just weren't on our side. The anesthetist and OB came to see us about an hour later. Told my wife how brave she was, watching her endure all of that for our son made me fall in love with her in a completely more intense way. Just turned six weeks this Wednesday. Growing like a weed. Being a dad is tough at this stage, but it's the most rad thing I've ever done. Never felt more useless in my life lol, not much you can do in that situation except hold their hand and encourage them. Also looked physically impossible. So, I'm the wife. And we didn't get to take our babies home, but I delivered stillborn twins a few months ago. My husband said exactly the same, that he felt so helpless watching me give birth. But to me, that man standing there and holding my hand was exactly what I needed. It was both medically and emotionally traumatic, but I remember feeling calm and purposeful because I knew what needed to be done, and I knew that I was the only one who could do it. What I needed from him was his presence. He didn't leave me alone. He didn't run from any of it, and I think he saw more of the blood and such than I did, I was a little doped up and had my eye closed for the actual delivery. I could do that, keep my eyes closed and focus on what my body was telling me, because he was there holding my hand. I didn't need to be on high alert, because he was there. His presence and my trust in him helped me do the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. Am I a bad person if I say horrific? It was a C-section and seeing her knocked out like that was one of the most disturbing images I can recall, I nearly cried on the spot. Definitely not a bad person, I can't even imagine how disturbing that would be. My wife cussed out the doctor. I was glad we were forced to wear face masks because I was cackling when she would let him have it in between pushes. My wife's phone went off during a really painful procedure, and she yelled, who the fuck is calling me? One does not need to go through painful procedures in order to justify saying this every time the phone rings. Besides being a wonderful experience, at one point I realized I was the only male in a room with eight other women, all of whom were totally tuned into what was happening. 
I had a profound sense of irrelevance. This is really my experience in the maternity ward. You are, dad, and you will carry bag and get water. Not because you are actually needed to carry these bags that could fit on this cart, or get the water from the sink over there that literally takes more time to explain where the cups are. But you need a job to keep you occupied, so get moving. I've never been so, handled, before in my life, and I knew it was happening, but fuck if I was going to mess up the process and make them focus on anything besides my wife and kids. Nurses are the most amazing, and most evil things ever. I saw my wife give birth to our daughter three months ago today, her delivery was considered basically flawless with zero complications or serious issues, and still the thing that got me was the blood and the mess and the stench of it all. Just totally random things stick in my brain today, such as blood spatter a few feet away from the bed, how'd it shoot so far, or the placenta sitting in a kidney-shaped stainless steel dish like some sort of alien organism, no we didn't take it home. My wife remembers pretty much none of it at all and is already talking about how much fun it would be to have a second baby, she's been totally brainwashed by her mommy hormones, and of course this is how the world's population continues to increase. I don't have children but my sister has spoken of that effect as well. She has had four children and remembers almost none of the details of actually giving birth. Was with my wife through five births and one miscarriage. The miscarriage was the absolute worst of the bunch. The first one I stayed mostly by her head, held her hand, gave her ice chips. I wanted to be there for her, but I was really scared to see what was going on down there. The doctor asked if I wanted to cut the cord and I said, that's what we're paying you for. The second one was delivered by a brand new resident. She admitted this was her first delivery. Since it was my second I figured my experience made me the top doctor in the room, JK. She forgot to look at the clock when the baby was born so the nurse and I told her the time of birth. The third and fourth were, textbook as they say. Both were planned inductions, so we arrived at the hospital in the morning and had a baby by early evening. By the time we had number five, our oldest daughter was fourteen. We decided to let her witness it to discourage her becoming a teen mother. It may have worked a little too well as she's thirty-six now and still no kids. Typically the doctors and nurses will work to make it as unstressful for both parents as possible. There is a lot of mess, mostly amniotic fluid, but it's mixed with a little bit of blood so it looks like a lot. There's usually poop, that's something they don't warn you, the skin stretches and there's rarely any tearing. They used to cut her a little bit to make the opening bigger, but that's not usually necessary and I don't think they do that anymore. The baby comes out soaking wet and limp. Usually a little blue in color, but as soon as they start breathing that goes away. No they don't spank kids to make them breathe. It's a little gross, and a little scary. But it's a whole lot of amazing. And you will definitely come out with an increased level of respect for every mother. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe please.